very good morning today we are going to see a problem on thevenin's theorem take down this problem determine the thevenin's equivalent circuit across the uh, points b and d so there are four terminals are given for a uh, c b and d so we need to determine the thevenin equivalent circuit across this point uh, b and d terminals for the beechstone bridge so this is of beechstone bridge as shown in the figure below and find the current through 40 ohm distance. So we need to find out the, what is the current through this 40 ohm distance. That is the problem. But uh, clearly given, we need to solve by using the Thevenin's theorem, Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So in the Thevenin's theorem, uh, uh, what is the first step to find out the VTH or RTH. So now we are going to find out VTH. So in this problem, it is given like RL. So what is RL? So uh, they need to, uh, they clearly told like we need to, um, find out the Thevenin's equivalent circuit across the terminals B and D. So B and D means this point, 40 ohms. So clearly it is given. So what we are doing is, uh, so RL is nothing but 40 ohms. So, so first we need to open circuit this load terminals. Okay, that is the first step, open circuit. So uh, it is given RL across B and D terminals. So we need to open circuit 40 ohms and redrawing the circuit. So we need to find out what is the VDH uh, uh, from this point, that is B and D, we need to find out the VTH. Okay, uh, this is the first step. We need to open circuit the uh, load, uh, this, that is RL, that is 40 ohms, we open circuit it. So next is, we need to find out what is VTH. No? So what I'm doing is, I'm redrawing the circuit, okay, redrawing the circuit like this. So if you see here, redrawing the circuit. So if you see here, clearly uh, 10 ohms is here and 30 ohms is here. And this is the B point, this is the D point, 20 ohms is here and 15 ohms is here. So this is the A point and C point. So uh, it is connected to two ohms like that. We are uh, redrawing this circuit. Mm -hmm. So clearly first you have to redraw the circuit because for our uh, calculation will be very simplified. If you redraw the circuit. So now we redraw the circuit. Now we need to find out what is a, a, a ABD uh, current. Okay, current through ABC that we are going to find. So IABC is equal to B divided by R. So, so IABC, IABC. So this part alone uh, we are going to find. That is ABC. This part alone we are going to find out what is the current. So this part alone means, um, so it is connected to voltage source 2 ohm. So B divided by this R equal this 2 are in series, that is 10 ohm and 30 ohm are in series. So, okay, so current I is equal to B by R equal. So B is 2 uh, volts divided by R equal to 10 and 30 are in series. So we need to add. So 10 plus 30 is 0 0.05 amperes. That is the current through this ABC. Now we need to find out what is the current through ADC. So, IADC we need to find. Out. So, IADC is equal to similarly ADC. This down part we need to find out what is the current. So, IADC is nothing but V divided by R equal. So, V is nothing but 2 volts divided by R equal. This 20 uh, ohms and 15 ohms are in series. So, um, that we are finding out at 0 0.07 amperes. So, IADC is 0 0.057 amperes. Now, we need to find out what is the voltage VAB. Okay, so voltage across this point VAB and also VAD we need to find. So VAB is what? So VAB is nothing but IABC to that particular resistance. Okay, so this current IABC current is what is we calculated. So that into 10. Okay. So, VAB is equal to IABC, that is 0 0.05 into 10 uh, ohms. So, that we can find out VAB is 0 0.5 ohms. Similarly, VAD. So, VAD means what? Uh, this uh, particular point, VAD. Okay, voltage across VAD. So, similarly, IADC uh, into this particular resistance, uh, 20 uh, ohms. Okay, so IADC is 0 0.057 into 20. So that will give you 1.14. So that is VAD. Now we need to find out what is VBD because this uh, across this point we need to find out the what is VBD. Uh, okay, VBD. This is a B point, D point, B 
BD. That is nothing but BTH. So BBD, how to uh, write that? Uh, uh, how to calculate v, uh, BD in the sense that uh, VAB minus VAD. Uh, okay. So VAD minus VAD. Okay. AD minus AD. So AD minus AD. This current is more, no? So uh, difference you can take. Okay. So VAD minus VAB or otherwise VAB minus VAD also you can take. And uh, the difference you can take. Okay. If you take the difference, it will come in. So, so we are taking this potential is more, so that potential we are writing here. So, VBD is equal to one uh, VAD minus VAB. So, VAD 1.14 um, volts minus uh, VAB is 0 0.5. So, if you calculate, you will get a VBD, that is 0 0.64, that is nothing but VTH. Okay, so this point is VTH or VB. Okay, we can tell as VB. Clear no? So here uh, BBD we are going to uh, find out. Next, uh, um, B, uh, now we find out what is VTH. Next, we need to find out what is the RTH. RTH we need to find. So to find out the RTH, for finding out the RTH, the voltage source has to be short circuited and the current source has to be open circuited. So here you in the circuit, you see only one voltage source is there. In the circuit result, clearly, you can see only one voltage source is there. So, that voltage source alone, we need to uh, short circuit. Okay. So, already this is open circuit. So, here you need to find out what is RTH. Okay. So, that's what uh, we have redrawn the circuit like this. So, here you need to find out the RTH. And uh, this voltage source, here two voltage sources there that we are short circuiting. Now, redrawing the circuit because A and C are still short circuited. So, what I am doing is I am short circuiting A and C. The wire, just I am changing the wire. So, uh, one wire is connecting A and C. That same wire I am connecting like this. Okay, like this. So, this circuit can be uh, redrawn like this. Okay, same. Uh, ohms and all same. Uh, resistance and all same. 10 ohms, 30 ohms, yeah, 20 ohms, 15 ohms. A and C, we are short circuit. Now, we need to find out what is the, uh, the um, resistance between these two points. Now, redrawing the circuit like this. Okay, redrawing the circuit. So you mark this point B, D, A, C. So, okay, B, uh, D is there, A, C is there. So, this uh, two are in, connected in parallel. That is 10 ohm and 30 ohms are connected in parallel and connected here because A and C short circuit, no? connected here, B and C short circuit. And again, 20 and 15 are also in parallel. 20 and 50 are in parallel. This two in parallel, this two in parallel. So, 10 ohms parallel with 30 ohms. And 20 ohms parallel with 50 ohms. So 10 ohms parallel with 30 ohms is R equal to 1 is equal to 10 into 30 divided by 10 plus 30. So you'll get an answer as 7.5 ohms. So 20 ohms parallel with 15 means similarly um, 20 into 15 divided by 20 plus 50. That you can find out R equal. Now this two are in series. Okay. So this is uh, 7.5 ohms and 8.75 ohms. That's two are in series. So this point is B, this point is D, this point is C and C. Okay. And here, across this only, we need to find out. Between B and D. You see here, circuit. Between B and D only, we need to find out RTH. So between B and D only, we need to find out what is the equivalent resistance. So equivalent resistance, so if you, um, this two are in series. So RTH is equal to uh, this R equal to 1, okay, plus R equal to 2. So R equal to 1 is there and R equal to 2 is there. 2 is there. This we are adding because this 2 are in series, okay. So 7.5 plus 8.5, sir. So it will become RT is equal to 16.07 oops. RT. So now we find out uh, what is RTH and VT. So now we can easily uh, draw the Thevenin sequence. So Thevenin sequence circuit also it's very uh, simple. Uh, so here you see uh, BTH, you, would, uh, you have to uh, calculate BTH. That BTH uh, should be in series, uh, series with the RTH and also in RL. RL we open circuit, no? that RL also we, uh, we are going to add here. Okay. So BTH is already we found out that is 0 0.64 volts. Okay. BTH we have already found out 0 0.64 volts. And RTH also we found at 16.07 ohms. So um, BTH is there, RTH is there, and RL. RL we open circuit, you know, that we need to add here. That is 40 ohms. So what is asked in the question? Current through 40 ohm resistance. Okay, between B and D, 
points this is the b and d point okay so uh, current to 40 ohm is so to find the current to 40 ohm is so uh, just uh, the ohms law only so i 40 ohms is equal to bth divided by rth plus r because this two are in series so if you um, uh, substitute this value and simplify you'll get 0.00114 amperes that is nothing but 11.4 milli amperes that is the current to this 40 ohm resistor so this is the answer for this uh, particular uh, circuit okay this circuit but uh, by seeing the circuit sometimes what you'll uh, feel is you'll feel this as a very uh, tough uh, circuit like that and what you uh, do simply will uh, do the beach stone bridge calculation and stop the problem so uh, clearly it is given determine the thevenin sequence circuit so we need to go for thevenin sequence circuit and solving this uh, problem okay so and um, points you need to mark it correctly b and d between these two points only we need to find out bth rth uh, like that you need to remember and redrawing the circuit that is also necessary. okay so with this easily you can uh, solve this 